healthcare is the most information intensive industry in the economy, and it uses information technology the least of any industry in the economy. So if you think about where do we need information the most, it's clearly healthcare. You need to know what's going on with the patient, what they're allergic to, what kinds of issues they have, what treatment options. And yet we still do things by paper and pencil, storing things in huge stacks where you can't retrieve them and they're not there where you need them. Healthcare is amongst the lowest productivity industries in the economy. If you look at the well-performing industries, they tend to have three features. The productive industries tend to have three features. First, they use information technology a lot. They know who's doing what, why they're doing it, how rapidly they're doing it, what the outcome is, how to improve it. They're always thinking about that. They use information technology a lot. In healthcare, we don't. Second, they have compensation arrangements that are tied to improving value. When employees create value, they get paid more. When, when they do things that don't create value, they don't get paid as much. In healthcare, you get paid for doing things for volume, but not for value. And third is they, they decentralize it so that changes are made by workers. Workers have authority. In the famous Toyota model, any worker can stop the production line. Why? Because he or she has the right information and the right incentives to make sure that the cars are coming out with the quality that they need to. In healthcare, the frontline workers are so busy just getting by that they don't have the opportunity to do better. If you take those nurses who are spending a third of their time documenting things and say, well, couldn't we do better? They'd say, yes, but I just don't have the time to figure out how. I'm so rushed, I can't figure it out. Healthcare has got to get better. It's got to get better on the information end, where we've made a good start with the recent American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which is spending $30 billion on health IT. Compensation changes, which need to follow that, hopefully in healthcare legislation that comes this fall, that will say we pay more for value and not just for volume. And organizational changes, freeing up organizations and helping them learn from each other so that they say, hey, you know what? I really can make this a high-performing enterprise. This doesn't have to be an enterprise that's got low productivity. And come back to the most productive businesses, the ones that have increasingly lower costs. Those are businesses that are actually the most innovative, not the least innovative. If you look at the most productive industries in the economy, they are industries like information technology, like retail trade, like agriculture, that use technology the most, but they direct it the right way. For people to think that healthcare reform is going to involve stifling innovation is just absolutely wrong. If we do it right, we're going to open the possibilities for enormous amounts of innovation. Let me just give you a different example than what we've seen. Take, um, uh, take uh, antidepressant drugs just as one example. It is a well-known fact that antidepressant drugs, the same drug, will work on some patients and not work on others. Just give, give people Paxil or give people um, Prozac or give them Celexa or whatever it is. Some patients respond to it, other patients don't. And it's different. Some people respond to one medication, some people respond to another, some people respond to a third, but not to the others. Why is that? Well, we don't know. There's surely something biological about it. When you switch people from one drug to another, you, um, you wind up uh, sometimes uh, getting them to respond and getting better. Well, with a little bit of innovation, we'll be able to figure out which patients will respond better to which drugs. As a result, we can avoid giving people drugs they're not going to respond to, wasting money, wasting treatment, the people don't come back because the thing is not working, even worse with some kind of chemotherapy agents where the patient dies in the interim. With innovation, we'll be able to figure out how to tailor what you need, what you get to what you need, in addition to all the other things we're talking about, so that we'll have a medical care system that's actually customized for you, not just for something generic, not just, hey, we just start on this because this is what we do, and if you don't respond better, it's your responsibility for figuring out how to do something different. That's just one example of where we're going to need a lot of innovation. Healthcare reform has to encourage innovation across the board or else it's not going to succeed. Mm -hmm.